Father God, that uh, it would, I will articulate, Father God, with with confidence, Father. Yes, what you Lord. have given me to give first to myself and to your people, oh God. So I pray, Father, that you let this word go forth, Father God, that you that our hearts are already prepared to receive uh, our portion, Father God, whether it was just the songs, Father God, whether it's just a word that may be said today, Father God, maybe it was just a a a word of encouragement. It may have been just a just a hug, God. We don't know what that what what that portion was for everybody, Father God. But I pray right now, Father God, that, that you meet everyone at their point of need, God. Yes, yes. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Um, I won't be before you guys long today, I don't think. But let God have his way. Amen. Amen. Um, oh, that's, today has just already been just great. Awesome. Amen. I thank everybody that participated that's on the program. Shout out to all yes. of you. Yes, um, yes, yes. Shout out to the, the ML. Y'all ready? ML Praise team. You know the praise team. Um a shout out to Shirley over there. You know, we've been really working to, you know, build this thing and, and expand it, you know, and um we're seeing, you know, it come to where we where we want it to be at. Amen. 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 Um so today <sighs> I don't know what the title is anymore. Okay, so you just you might to put question marks, and at the end of it, name is something I don't know. Um, um, so it's been a word in my spirit for quite a like a long time, a couple of months or whatever, and we started hearing it a lot. Um, Sister Kiana would say on the prayer line, um, endurance. And that word has really been ringing out in my spirit for, for quite a, for quite a, quite a minute. So, and then Pastor Mitchell has said it to me as well. And so when I was trying to get get this together, I was in a whole nother lane. But God brought me right back to what He had put in my spirit months ago. Amen. Amen. So I put the title as the power of endurance, but I don't know if that's quite what it is, but we're going to talk about endurance. However, before we talk about endurance, we have to talk about the enemy of in, of, of us enduring. Mm-hmm. 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 And what God really gave me was talking about stagnation. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get to what that is and all that good stuff. So y'all, y'all bear with me. Pray with me, God. I feel like I haven't been up here in so long, y'all. I got to get back into the into the groove. So. Amen. Amen. So there are things that happen in life that causes us to pause. Things we can be moving along in life, and it's almost like something happened, and it stops us in us in our in our movement. And you may say things like like what financial issues, relational issues job issues, or other things that are just common in life can come up and make us pause in our in our movement, right? When we pause, it is usually to make a decision about how we should handle the situation. So if, if your finances start messing up, right, you're going to pause because you're going to have to say, okay, how am I going to move forward with this situation. How do I deal with that? Right? So when you pause, that means that 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 you are at a place where I like to call decision value. Mm-hmm. So at that point, we have two choices when we pause. We can either become stagnated or endure. Two choices. Mm-hmm. One or the other. Amen. Amen. We must understand that life life happens. Yes, and in all our situations, we have a choice to become stagnated My or God. endure. Mm-hmm. See, life, as long as we on this earth, things gonna come our way. You better say it. Like we sometimes we want to tap out of life situations, mm-hmm. and that's not that's not the reality of it. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Right. Life happens. As long as we live, we're going to always have something, something. that's going to come our way that make us pause and make a decision on to how we're going to move forward. Come with on that. now. That's right. Okay? So what is stagnation? Stagnation is defined as the state of not flowing or moving. The lack of activity, growth, or development. As you can see, the purpose of stagnation is to stunt your growth yes, and prevent yes. you from moving, flowing, and making yes, progress. Yes, yes, yes. Now, when I was writing this, I was, in my mind, I was thinking about natural life. Yes. You know, but I want you, whatever your portion is, whether it's your natural life or your spiritual life, what, how does this apply to you? Amen. So my question to you today is, in what area of your life are you stagnated in? In what area is your growth stunted and no progress is being made? So take a, a second and think about where, where are you not moving? Where are you not flowing? Where are you not growing? Because I can help you to identify that area because that that area is full with frustration. My, 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 my. That area is, mm. if you think about it, your heart stop beating fast. That's that area. And God is saying to the, today that that is going on because there's no growth there. Some Somewhere along, along the line, you stop growing in that area. Okay? So what does stagnation do? It robs us of our benefits as a child of God. You better say it. Come on. What are benefits? A benefit is an advantage or profit gain from something. So in this, we know something is God. When we became a child of God, we plugged into the family and we, we are supposed to receive benefits, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But when you're not growing and moving, there's some benefits that we get some things as salvation, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We get some things as salvation. But there are some things that we don't get until we grow in, in, in the uh -huh. things of God. Right. Uh -huh. There's some right. benefits uh -huh. that's restricted to different levels. That's right. And right. if you ain't right. willing to go to those different that's levels right. to get it, you won't receive that Come benefit. On. Come on. Come on. Right. Because because let's 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 be honest. What's the difference if somebody just got saved, don't want to put in no work to do nothing, but you got this person over here, pray or fast and consecrate in on, the word. Come on, come on. Like, God has to reward that person. Come on, that's right. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. You know? So we, like, if we want those benefits that we see, those getting that are doing the work, then we have to move from merely being saved to saying, okay, yes, I'm saved. Yes, yes, I'm, yes. I'm saved. Now I'm going to go into the process of being consecrated. Sanctified, purified, yes. trying to really strive to live a holy lifestyle. When we become stagnated, it is hard for us to, to obtain and enjoy the full range of benefits that comes with us growing and moving in the things of God. There are benefits, once again, beyond salvation that are available to us, but some only come as we go, as we grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. Also, stagnation delays us moving in our purpose. Yes, it does. <laughs> It delays us moving in our purpose. And if we, that's one of the most frustrating things, though. When you know what your purpose is, and you're not able to fully function in it. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. there's a lack of growth. There's a lack mm -hmm. of maturity. Jesus. So what does the word of God say about this? Let's turn over to Hebrews chapter 5. We're going to verse, uh, starting at verse 12. Hebrews 5, starting at verse 12. <clears throat> got the word? Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah, got some pages yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 
and the word of God reads. And if you look at the the title, it says spiritual immaturity. Mm-hmm. And it reads, but though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. Mm. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled mm. in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good yeah. and evil. Yeah. Yeah. So we see from this passage that, first of all, God expects us to grow. Yes, right. he does. God yes. expects, he's a, he's a progressive God. Yeah. Right. He's yeah. not... Yeah. He's not standing still. God is always, he's, he's, he's always moving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So if he's always moving and we're made in his image, he expects us mm-hmm. to grow mm-hmm. in the things of God. Right. From the word, we see God expects us to grow. Therefore, when we identify areas in our life that we are not growing in, we must ask ourselves, mm-hmm. why is my growth stunted in oh, this Lord, area? That's mm-hmm. right. Why? What have I allowed Come on. To stunt my growth. Yes, yes. Why am I still on milk Mm. when by this time I should be on meat? Mm -hmm. Is it that I don't want to invest the time Mm. to get to the meat? I don't want to work to the meat. Maybe maybe I'm okay with the milk. Mm. But if you're okay with the milk level, then (laughs) expect and stay at your milk benefits level. Come on now. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> but that's the reality. You know, when you, when you, when you really, really, really want all, like, y'all, sin was fun. Yeah. The world was fun. Yeah. Like, but don't, don't get over here and just be satisfied at the first level. Right. Like, why? Why are you gonna stop doing everything that you really, really used to like? Then get over here and be like, "I'm good right here." When you, when there's so much more in God. Yes, yes, yes. There's so much. There's so much He wants to show us. There's so much, mm-hmm. so many different benefits that He wants that that He wants to give us. Yeah. But we just become satisfied with with, with, with whatever level because honestly, we don't want to work. Right, mm. right. Come on. We don't want to work to live right. Mm. right. And come on. We expect it for us to come into 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 Christ and it just be cookies and cream. And it's not and, and, and it's like now is like Pastor always say, it takes work to live right. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah. So we can make the choice to say, I'm you know, I'm gonna be a babe and stay on milk. Or you can say, you know what? I know it's gonna be work for me to get some meat, but my teeth strong enough. Come on now. <laughs> you can drink all that. No, I want to chew the meat of the word. Yeah. I want to chew the 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 richness of God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now that we understand things will happen in our lives that will seek to cause us to become spiritually stagnated, the question now becomes how do we handle these situations? If we make the decision not to allow the situation to cause us to become spiritually or naturally stagnated, we must do one thing. And what is that one thing? That one thing is endure. Yes, 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 yes. So God is saying to us today that we must endure. Mm -hmm. So how does that tie in? Because when you when you allow something to, to cause you to stop to stop growing is because in that in that area you didn't choose to endure. Mm-hmm. 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 You you allowed the situation to to dictate to you Come on, how you were going to handle it. Mm-hmm. Instead of you just saying, you know what, this this what's going on, I'm going to make it do what it do. You like, you know what, this what's going on. It is what it is. I just gotta you know accept it. This reality of it, and you know, defeat and talk. Right, come on now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> come on, that's right. So, endure means to suffer something hmm. painful of difficult patiently. No, My. to suffer something painful or difficult patiently 
to remain in existence last. Wow. Say that again. Come on, give us that again. <laughs> Endure means to suffer something painful or difficult Jeez. patiently. Patient. Mm. Patiently. My, 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 to my, my, remain my. in existence yes. last. Yes. Jesus. To last. To, last. to suffer Jesus. something difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Patiently. Hmm. So you got to be patient while enduring those difficult situations right. that will cause you mm -hmm. to become stagnated. Right. Wow. And some of the synonyms, can somebody, uh, I don't want to do this, can somebody look up the word endure? Because there's a list of synonyms, I wrote some down, I noted right here to, to go to that. Look up the word endure. I wanna, you want synonyms? Yes. Um, endure to to undergo, mm -hmm. go through, mm -hmm. live through, mm -hmm. experience, mm -hmm. meet, yes, and encounter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, it goes on to say, remain in existence. Last. Yes. To your definition. Last. Live. Live on. Go on. Come on. Hold on. Come on. Hold on. Woo. Abide. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm -hmm. Persist. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remain. Yes. yes. Stay. Yes. Survive. Yes. yes. Survive. Come on, Adam. Yes. Oh, I like them. Yes. Catch all of that. All of that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Endure. Yes. That that's what endure means. When we endure, we understand that this thing may hurt. Whatever I'm called to endure, yes. it may hurt. Yes. It's yes. going to be difficult. Yes. But if I endure, that means I'm still in existence. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. I'm still lasting. Yes. I'm still, okay, I may have to deal with it, yes. but I'm going to face it head on and I'm going to go through it. Head yes. on. Mm -hmm. My God. Let's turn to Hebrews uh, chapter 10. We go to verse 36 and let's uh, take out your device. Let's go to Amplified. Verse 36. Can you repeat that Hebrews? Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36 in the Amplified. And the word of God reads, for you have need of patient endurance mm -hmm. to bear up under difficult circumstances without uh, compromising. Jesus. So that when you have carried out the will of God, you may receive and enjoy the full and enjoy to the full what is promised. Yes. Wow. To yes. bear up under difficult circumstances without compromising. So what is the scripture saying? This is saying that when situations come your way, you will have the choice also to compromise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Just, just think about it. Somebody going through in their in their finances. Mm -hmm. Somebody may think, okay, if I do this, you know, scamming and all this other stuff, they can be believers and everything. But that, that financial situation can be so hard mm -hmm. that they can think about compromising. Right. Knowing that that's not that's not God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that that when that when that when that pressure come on you of that situation, you once again have a choice even to stand on the Word of God and mm -hmm. stand in your character and integrity. Yes, yes. So yes. all this is yes. I I love that integrity, integrity because we all face a situation where we can compromise. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yep. But God wants us to be people of integrity. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And also, from the scripture, we see it's our endurance that will allow us to see the promise. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is <laughs> our, in, yes. our endurance that will allow us to see the promises of God come to pass in our life. Mm -hmm. See, and that's why the enemy doesn't want you to move. Because you're going to always be like uh, Moses. See the promised land, but can't get in there. My God. My God. At some point, that thing got to 
that kick up in you to say, you know what? This is difficult. I don't like it. I really don't yeah. want to deal with it, yeah. but I see the promised land. Yeah. 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 That promised land looks real good compared to where I'm at. Huh. And I know for me to, to, to get from here yeah. to there yeah. is only a word of endurance. That's so if I endure, yeah. I want to get there. Yeah. 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 The word between where you are now and to your promised land is endurance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talking good. Yeah, That's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> so the question today is. Do you want to see the promise? Come on, that's right. the question. Right. Come on now. Do, do you, you want to see it? Do you even want to do see you? it? Do you want it? <laughs> do you want to? Because we can see the promised land in our minds, but do you want to see the manifested promised land yes. of God? Mm-hmm. You know, it's easy to see it. Like we can, you can. Close your eyes and be in the promise right now. Yeah. But open your eyes and you still where you at. Right, 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 right. 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 Be, so, so, so then, if you if you do want to see that promised land, then our faith has to come to the promised land level. See, that's the thing. A lot of us scared to believe for the promise uh-huh. mm-hmm. because our faith is not there to believe for the promise. Mm-hmm. So we got to get our get our faith levels up yes. as we're enduring. Yes. Because guess what? Your yes. faith will be tested. Yes, it will. Your faith will be tested as you are striving to endure to get to the promised land. Everything's going to try to come your way to try and keep you from the, from the promised land. But you got to stand on your faith and say, you know what? No matter what I see, no matter what I hear, no matter what I think, I'm going to believe God. That's right. Yes. Yep. So if you do want to see the promised land, guess what? You must endure and not allow stagnation to be your portion. Because you can allow stagnation to be your portion mm-hmm. if you choose not to endure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And then what happens then? You become frustrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's still your choice. That's right. Yeah. Now you may be others in the in the in the natural to help work with you to to figure out the situation, yeah. but if you make a choice and to say, you know what, I'm determined to get past this. Yes, yes, you yes, you yes, are going to yes, do yes, it. Yes, mm-hmm. you yes, will do it. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm. So what does endorse look like? Let's go uh, to Philippians uh, chapter three and amplify. Then amplify. We'll go to verse twelve. Philippians chapter 3, starting at verse 12. <clears throat> in the Amplified. And the word of God reads, Not that I have already obtained it, this goal of being Christ-like, or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on so that I may take hold of the perfection for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it made it my own yet. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature pursuing spiritual perfection Uh should have this attitude. And if any respect you have a different attitude, Uh that too God will make clear to you. Uh So what does endurance look like? When we endure, there's a pressing in our spirits. Mm -hmm. There's a in spite of, a nevertheless in your spirit. That even when you want to give up, that press in your spirit won't allow you to give up. Because you have made a decision to endure. And even when you decide that you're not going to move, that press is what's going to frustrate you. So that press wants to endure. That press wants to get to the promised land, but you got to get your flesh in line with what's going on in the spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's a pressing in, in our spirit. Yeah. When you choose to endure, there's an extra 
very focused. Uh, he says, forgetting it. those things that are behind. Uh -huh. You don't even look back. Mm. You 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 so focused on 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 what's ahead mm. that you don't have time to look on down. what lies behind. Come on. Mm. Come on. Because now you're pressing, yes. mm. you're focused, mm. you're not even thinking about mm. what's mm. back there. Mm. You're looking at what's in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. When you choose to endure, yeah. you recognize and understand the goal. And count it worthy of pursuit. Yes, yes, wow. yes, yes. Wow. Count yes. it worthy of pursuit. When you Come choose to down. endure, yeah. you yeah. recognize and understand the goal yes. and count it count worthy it. of pursuit. Yes. See, everything is not worth yes. pursuing. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. There's Come some on. things in your life that's not worth your time. Worth some it. of us are pursuing the wrong oh, thing. Right. Wrong things, wrong people. Come on. Yes. Yes. We don't count, we don't count yes. the goal worthy enough. Of our time. That's right. God. Come on. So you count it worthy and you pursue it. On, when you choose to endure, you are saying to the progress you have made. Mm. You are worth fighting for. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Come mm. on. Mm. You are worth fighting for. Yeah. So I know it takes me 10 steps to get to the promised land. I took one, two, three, I took three steps. And something came my way mm -hmm. that now I pause. I got to make a decision. But then I remember, hey, you started at zero. Mm -hmm. You at three. Mm -hmm. You trying to get to ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know what I went through to get from zero to three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that progress I made, I want to keep it. Right. Right. So I may be at three for a minute, That's but right. I chose to endure because guess what? My, my progress keeps my progress is pushing me because yes. I remember yes. zero through three. Yes. Yes. Come on, yes. Yes. Come on, yes. Come on. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. That's right. Come on. Come on. Huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your progress is pushing you. Huh. That's why you can't give up. Yes. Your yes. progress yes. is pushing you. There's a pressing in your spirit, but that progress behind you saying go. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So how should we endure? Mm. Let's go to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 2. We'll read verse 3 through 5. Let's go to the um, New King.
salvation, glory to God. Okay, and 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 here's everything that I need you Enjoy. to bear up under. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Sheesh. <laughs> yes. yes. We are called to endure like soldiers, yes. never forgetting who has enlisted us. Come on. Who has enlisted us? Mm-hmm. We didn't enlist ourselves. Come on. We didn't ask these for these hardships, yeah. but they it came with the territory. Uh-huh. So if 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 God gave to us and he called us to, it's just like with, with, with your purpose. That's right. If you know your purpose, God gave you your purpose that he's already given you the ability to walk out your purpose. That's right. if, right. if he's called you to, to bear up under these different hardships, then he's already given you the ability to walk through those hardships. Right. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord and he has and he expects us to bear up and, and, and endure under the pressures of life and still grow in the things of God. Mm-hmm. Ain't that something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good, though. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, he, God like, okay, I called you, you came to me, and I gave you these 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 hardships. But guess what? Those hardships don't don't void out you growing in the, in the things of God. Right. It, doesn't, right. it doesn't void out you doing the work to, to just Build yourself up. It's like, it's like this stuff go go hand in hand. So that's why one day you're crying, and the next day you all got joy. And the next minute you, I don't know about this God. And the next day, glory to God, because you you doing both things at the same time. Uh, how about how, give yourself a round of applause for juggling <laughs> the call to endure and growing in the things of God. <laughs> so can this be challenging? Yes, it can. Which is why we must have the right perspective. Mm-hmm. Go to Philippians mm-hmm. chapter 4. We're going to read uh, starting at verse 11. And let's go to the New King verse on that. <clears throat> And it reads, Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 11. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I I am to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It is through Christ we have the ability to do all things. It is only through Christ we will be able to endure like soldiers. So what am I saying? We cannot separate our our striving to endure from Christ. Come on now. Hmm. We can't do that. Mm -hmm. Because it's only through Christ, it's only in Christ that we're able to bear up and not give in and not crumble under the pressures of the hardships. Yeah, yeah. It's in Christ we find our confidence yes. to face the issues of life that will seek to cause us to become spiritually and naturally stagnated. It's in Christ we receive our strength and are empowered to press on. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Hmm. Jesus. And finally, as I close. Come on. Come on. And finally, as children of God, we must remember and stand on the word found in Romans 8.37, which tells us, yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us so much that he died for us. Whatever comes our way, we must remember that we already have the victory. We are victorious in our bodies. We are victorious in our minds. We are victorious in our finances. We are victorious in our relationships. We are victorious in our emotions. We are victorious in our attitudes. We are victorious in our lives. We have the victory over every addiction. We have the victory over every body. We have the victory over the pressure. Yeah. 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 We are victorious. Yeah. 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 Yeah
God. Yes, 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 God. Declaring, Father God, as we move our feet, as we clap our hands, as we sing the song, oh God, we feel that right now in the name of Jesus, and no devil in hell will be able to come and steal it, Father. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Amen. Good word. Good word. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord God. So right now, we want to just take this opportunity to, um, uh, if you're in here, we don't want to uh, assume that everyone knows Christ or have, re have received him as their personal Lord and Savior. Um, so if that's something that's, that's, that, that you want to do, the word says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he was raised from the dead, you shall be saved. There's nothing too deep. It's, it's about believing and, and just confessing Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah. Ask him to give you all that good stuff like that, and you in there. Amen. 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 So that's you. If you haven't given your life to Christ before, you, yeah, you can get it before. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. Um, anyone over here, if you never gave your life to Christ, then you say, you know what? I want to get to know this. It's Jesus. It's this God we went worshiping just now. Amen. Amen. Got good? Good, good, good. good. Amen. Okay. Amen. So, what you say? Saved house? Amen. 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 Let me just say one thing, and and I'm feeling a, I'm feeling something in my spirit. So for the praise team, I want you to just that song was good, but I want to seal it with another song, the anthem. So look for the anthem back there, um, and it lines up with everything that she actually ministered. Uh, there were a couple of things that actually stood out as the word was going forward on this morning, and she was talking about enduring, and so I want to encourage you all to endure. The pruning process. Because that's where the suffering and the pain comes in. Because even when you think about a plant in the natural, if a person is caring for a plant and it is their desire for that plant to grow, sometimes along the way, they have to take these big old shears or scissors and things of that nature and cut off some stuff. Mm -hmm. Cut off some stuff. And if you, if you think about it, if somebody just was to cut off your limb, right, it would hurt, won't it? Yeah. It will hurt. But if that limb was full of gangrene right. that was poisoning you, that could actually take you out, right. it may hurt to have it cut off, but you understand the benefit of that very thing being cut off. Because guess what? God has to prune off of us things that are not like him. That's right. When we get born again, there are things on the inside of us that we are not even aware of. And what happens is somehow we just think we're going to get saved and everything will be hunky-dory. And then all of a sudden we come across a roadblock and now we tripping. But God is saying this has already been there. This has been there. But guess what? Now that you're growing and I'm trying to get you to where I want you to go, there's some stuff in your life that I got to cut off for of you. And right. guess what? We don't like that. Right. You want to know why? Because it's been with us for so long. Right. Come on, man. If you're 40 years old, you done had your mom for 40 years. You're used to that thing. That's right. And it's the same thing with sin. It's the same thing with our issues. Some of us have had issues all of our life. And the reality, even though we know they are wrong, even though we know that they are holding us back, guess what? They are part of us. Mm -hmm. But he's saying, I got to prune you. So I need you to be able to endure the pruning process. It will be painful, but it will be worth it. And as she said, the key is, because even she said, do you want to see the promised land? Mm. I'm going to tell you like this. No, I don't want to see the promised land. I want to enter in. That's right. 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 See, you got to think about it. See, Moses saw the promised land. Yeah, he, did. he knew where he was supposed to go. Right. But because he compromised in doing something opposite of what God told him to do, the very thing that he was supposed to experience, he never got to experience. He saw it, but guess what? I don't want to just see it. Is there anybody in here that want to enter into your promised land? I knew what she was saying in the spirit, but that thing rang out to 
me. And so we got to know that we have the victory. Did you find it, sir? Yeah. All right, Shirley and, 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 and uh, praise team. Whoever, y'all get on up here and sing this song. <laughs> okay? Is it number five? Okay. It's uh, number two. It's number two. Come on. Y'all have heard this song in this church long enough. Just get on up here and sing this song. Because we got to know that we do have the victory. Amen? She said we got the victory. Come on, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. All right, come on, let's lift our voices as we say hallelujah. 